Yeah, and as far as like what these guys look like is concerned, I mean, you know, what they look like is a really important part of why they're successful. What they look like is a really important part of why they're successful. I mean, I think kind of an exception, an exception to that to a certain extent is John Mayer, who is really talented and also very skilled. I mean, he really, he really is a good musician. He really, truly is. It's, it is much, much harder to fake something like that. You know, I mean, like, as it, you really, I, I, it is. You know, I mean, it's like this. It, and, I'm, and I'm not saying that these, these other guys that I've, that I've interacted with, I don't have any talent or any of that stuff. I think it's just more a question of like, I, I think be something, something like a movie star, um, it's much easier to take someone, the way the system is now, I think it's much easier to take someone who is really good looking and intelligent and has a lot of talent, but who might not even really have a lot of training, you know, and even if they've gotten some training um, by the time that they're like turned into a star by the system, I think that they often don't, they don't continue to do the things that got them there, you know, that, you know, got, gave them the chance in the first place, if, if it was something like taking acting classes, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, I think, I think, I think what they get told is, you are so wonderful, you are, you are fabulous, just, just, just the way you are, you know, just, just keep being what you, what, what you, what you have been to make us all this money, which is not the part that they say, you know, <laughs> they, I mean, they're, they're looking for a product. When they create a product, you know, and then and they they want they want the product to stay, you know, exactly the same for as long as it can, and then if it's going to change, it, it has to change in response to what it, whatever it is that's gonna that's gonna make make them make them more more money. K seventy o three eight. So I mean, it's just all these cars driving past me on the side street, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's they're not they're not interested in like professional growth, intellectual growth, you know, character development for these people. They don't care about that. You know, you you, you really are just like a, a product on the shelves of Hollywood. Um, John Mayer is a really mean guy, you know. He, and I and I and I don't know if that's if that's like because of or in spite of how you know genuinely talented he is um, and how genuinely skilled he is at what he does. You know, I've got it's it's really true. There was nobody else who made me just made him made me just like him as quickly except for Leonardo DiCaprio, who you know was arguably kind of the most important movie star in Hollywood at that time. You know, five years ago or something like that. Um, Mm, and who didn't? Who was? Uh, yeah, yeah. Obviously, had a lot of talent, at, you know, at the beginning, and um, probably worked really hard at the beginning. And I mean, I'm not saying he he does he's untalented now or doesn't work as hard. But I mean, these people, it's like that's I've said it. You know, the system turns them into stars because it works for them, um, and it does it in a way that works for them, which is that you know, they keep them the same for as long as they can, and then they just discard them and get and get get you know get the next version of them, whether it's ten years later or, or whenever whenever it is.